It is that time for the skinny and topping our headlines this morning, a very special anniversary for one of America's most beloved comic strips. Charlie Brown and the whole Peanuts gang celebrating their 65th anniversary as a comic strip made by the legendary cartoonist Charles Schultz and the U.S. Postal Service has released 10 forever stamps celebrating the 50th anniversary of one of the most popular holiday classics of all times. Boy, I love this one. I love, love, love it when it comes on. It's a Charlie Brown Christmas. It was released back in 1965. And, and guess what? We're just one month away from the release of the Peanuts movie, the first new Peanuts film in 35 years. I'm going to take the kids to this one. You are. I can't wait. Will Charlie look any older than eight and, no. and a half years? No. He's Botoxed well and clearly <laughs> had a little surgery. Good genes are good doctors. Charlie Brown. And next to a very <laughs> special gesture to a very special child from Taylor Swift. Yeah, Swift has a long history of donating to charity, as you know. And we're hearing that she's donated $50,000 to the 13 month old nephew of one of her backup dancers who's battling cancer. Yeah, Swift writing on Baby Aiden's GoFundMe page, quoting here All of us are praying for you and your mama and sending so much love your way. She really does do so much for charity. You've got to give it to her. I love that she has done so much for cancer yep. and also for a lot of her. Uh, people in her community and especially for fans. Yeah, a lot of people criticize her, but she's she's yeah. a nice girl all over around, woman all around. Okay, so meantime, love is all around over at Sandra Bullock's house. The actress has become a mom again, reportedly adopting a baby girl, according to Radar Online. The Oscar winning actress already has a five year old son, Louis, whom she adopted in New Orleans in 2010. The news comes only a day after it was claimed that her new boyfriend, who is a model and photographer, Brian Randall, has reportedly moved into her Beverly Hills home. I hope he's helping with the night feedings. He's got a lot of work to do. And speaking of moving in, George Clooney spilling some secrets. We love when he does this. Yeah, this is juicy. The Hollywood hunk, as he's called, opened up to Extra about a cocktail-fueled night ending up with him in bed with his best friend's wife, Cindy Crawford, after she mistook him for her husband, Randy Gerber. What? He admitted to that? Yeah. Well, Clooney apparently joked that she just couldn't help herself. The three friends joined forces at Crawford's book party held last night in London. They don't look alike. They don't. <laughs> so They're how did looking. that happen? They're both good looking. It's yeah. hard when you mm. see good looking men. Okay. Very convenient. We'll be back.